Hey everyone, Brian here, and I don't know how many parts this is going to be, so you're going to have to bear with me, but I thought I'd show you my comic book collection. Now, a lot of you, excuse me, now a lot of you may think I'm just a comic collector of Sonic the Hitchcock comics, right? Well, I am a comic collector of those as well, but that's not the only comic I collect. I also collect comics from all varieties. DC, Marvel, Disney, art, uh, well, you get the idea. So, I thought I'd show you some of them. Now, the ones I want to start out with are right here at the beginning. And it is issue 75 of Superman. As you can see right there, it says issue uh, 75. I don't know if you can see it, but it's issue 75. This is the copy that, as they said, sold out more in uh, bookstores, comic shops, orders, and everything than any other uh, comic. And as you can see, I got it for a dollar when I found it. I'll explain why in a little bit. Then over here, of course, I have the collector's edition of Superman Doomsday. You know, it comes with everything. It has everything in here from the from the wristband to the po to the poster. Uh, you name it. It's got everything in here. I mean, I, I mean everything. I mean, if you can see inside, there's the uh, tombstone cover. And then we open up even more. There you can see here's the um, here's the armband that came with it. I think there was a button that came with it as well. I like, don't know. Someone took that one, but it just talks about every, but everything that's mentioned on the back here is in here, believe it or not. And I got this for two dollars as well. And then, of course, here's the uh, here's the obituary right here, the obituary, and here's the pullout poster of the, for the memorial kit. And um, oh, sorry. and uh, basically. Basically, like I said, I got this for a dollar at the half uh, half price bookstore, or in Lawrence, Kansas, when I was living there. Now you might say to yourself, "That's a good price." Well, it is a good price when you consider that this I originally sold, as you can see there, for two fifty and two ninety five in Canada. So. You know, originally that's what they sold for. Now, that's not the only uh, comic that I got as well. As a matter of fact, I have other comics, as you can see, and other books that I have. Now, these here are known as the collector editions of certain things. You know, like the collection editions and reprints and reissuings. Well, some of these I have had for a while. Like right here, I have the reissuing of the Death of Gwen Stacy. And... And then in here I have the death of the Stacys, which is both the story of both the death of Gwen and then before that her father. I have the Endgame Phoenix, uh, Endsong Phoenix, uh, Spider-Man Blue. I have Transformers End of the Road. I have Revelations of the Amazing Spider-Man, and like I said, Death of Gwen Stacy. I have the, um, I know I had it in here. I have the official movie adaption right there of the first Spider-Man film. And like I said, I got all these books. I have the uh, issue that took place. That's one of the issues that took place afterwards of Superman, Funeral for a Friend. I have most of these, most of these, and I got it for a dollar. And then, of course, I have the, well, I have the Gargoyles as well, the new comic that came out from L SLG. 
based on the first episode or two. And yes, I have Wildcat comics. In fact, if I can get them out of here, I'll show you them. I have Spawn and the Wildcats. That's a collector's item right there. Spawn and the Wildcats. Issue 1. I have some of the specials that came out with them. In fact, I have two of them. I have Rising Storm in the Wildcats. I have this one right here. Which is issue 2. I think it takes place after issue 1. Or it is after issue 1. I don't know. <laughs> Just one of them anyway. Issue 3 of the Wildcats Trilogy, I guess the introduction or something. And in issue 1 of the Wildcats Trilogy. So as you can see there, that's all the... That's the entire uh, trilogy, if you will, right there. Right here, got more Wildcats. Got some over here, and of course I got the source book. But that's my Wildcat comic collection right there. And some I've done when they were with Image, and some have gone to Wildstorm. I think when Wildstorm either bought them out or they got renamed to Wildstorm. Um. I also have some Supergirl comics. Yes, that is true. I have Supergirl comics. I'm not lying. As you can see, this is one of them. I have the Countdown series, 20 issues of the Countdown series from 50 to 30. I still got to get the rest of them. I have some of the Endangered Species issues of X-Men and the X-Men related titles. And, of course, I have Spider-Man, the John Romita 30th Anniversary book. I have Back in Black with Spider-Man, as you can see. I have the other, as well some of the issues from the other. I have a uh, issue, I have a 60 cent comic right here between Spider-Man and the Vulture. Okay, I don't know if you can see that real well. Then under here, I have some Laugh Olympic comics as well. Laugh Olympics, they, they had a comic issue, and they had a comic series, believe it or not. I have some more Spider-Man right there. Some more Spider-Man. As you can see, I have more Spider-Man. I think I have the 500th issue in here as well. in here somewhere, but I have a Spider-Man, I got a lot of them, I got, I started getting back into collecting these when the movie came out, so, and then here's an issue, here's an issue that's from like 1972, got it for $5 at the Half Price Bookstore, oh no, it's actually, uh, yeah, Half Price Bookstore, I got this for $5, believe it or not, I think it was uh, Half Price, I can't remember.
And of course, I got some others that are thirty cents, and you know, like thirty-five cents. One with Captain America and Spider-Man, and and a few others. So some of these issues go way back. And I will let you know about the rest of them when I come back for part two.